today we have with us Shekhar Gupta, the chairman and editor in chief of the Print. So my first question to you is: You have moved from print after spending like two decades, over two decades in the print, and you moved to digital. How did that work out for you? So veteran to an extent is right, uh, but because I want to defy the veteran tag, uh, that I'm trying to do something new, because the good thing about uh, today's media is that it's changing so rapidly that uh, you can take with you what you've learned over many years. So that's your uh, capital. But also, if you remain curious and open-minded, uh, you can also start learning new things. And that mm. also helps you defy age. So then you're no, lo no longer a veteran. You can be a veteran mm. and a beginner at the same time. Initially, I was sort of disdainful of digital. I was also disdainful of social media. It's a passing fad. It'll pass. So in fact, I did not use any social media uh, until three years ago. I only started using Twitter three years ago. And I still don't have a Facebook page of my own. I have realized over the past couple of years that this is where people mostly read uh, or watch. Now, people uh, advertise in print or on TV channels. Uh, people like to feature in print and on TV channels. Uh, people keep that, keep those media in their homes and pay for them, mm -hmm. but essentially they still read uh, on their phones. So maybe we are leapfrogging, but it's a matter of time before people start paying for this also. When you say that people are always on the phone, they are reading, so they are always on social media. Twitter and Facebook has become like an alternative source of news. Now that people are moving to social media, journalism, will it become history soon? Not at all. In fact, uh, you find now that uh, with so much mythologies and fake news that have gone on in social media, uh, mm -hmm. WhatsApp being the latest, I think the demand and the need for authentic news and information mm -hmm. has actually become greater now. The lesson for journalism is good journalism is not going to go away. Uh, in fact, uh, the premium on good journalism now is greater than before uh, because there is so much competing nonsense. Mm -hmm and clutter. But journalism has to become platform agnostic. Yes. Uh, that's what we are trying to do. So you are saying that it will be easier for editorial to be monetized, editorial content? Well, first of all, I think what's happened is with new platforms, it's become easier for ed editorial to be read and seen. So a lot more people can read and see you or hear you mm -hmm. much faster than before. Earlier, if a newspaper had X lakh circulation, four readers per copy, only that many could read you. Okay. Today, the equation has changed. Today, very few people go to news. Mm -hmm. News has to come to them. Yeah. And that's where social media, in fact, becomes an empowerer uh, in the hands of journalists. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, and also, once you are trusted, once you are acknowledged to have knowledge in certain mm -hmm. areas, people follow you. And the marketplace cannot be so unscientific or so illogical now that people will not pay for it. Uh, and already people are beginning to pay for good content. Look at the yeah. New York Times, look at FT, Business Standard, uh, where my column also appears yeah. be besides the print, yeah. Washington Post. Uh, okay, those are more evolved societies uh, economically. Yeah. Uh, but I think uh, it's a matter of time. It's yeah. beginning to happen, more will happen. Can we say that uh, it is a good time to be a media entrepreneur than be a journalist right now? Well, uh, Ideally, you should be both, uh, which is what I am. Yes. Uh, I haven't missed a week's column uh, since we started this, mm -hmm. and setting up a startup is a big challenge, particularly yeah. for somebody who's never done it. I think you can do both. What technology has done is, technology has lowered entry barriers. So once you build the brand, uh, and people know what your brand values are, yeah. a startup in the media can grow very fast now. It wasn't the case until five, seven years back where India wasn't so well connected. And 10 years back, it was unimaginable. Yeah. Quite a few media outlets get funding from politically inclined people. So how difficult is it to remain neutral in this very left versus right? Well, if you take funding from dodgy sources, then you're basically an employee of those funders, those money bags. They all have other motives besides the fact that they want to be seen as com at company events in the company of ministers and others who will come to these events because it's a media event. Very often they will take editorial titles, editor in chief, uh, something, something like that. Mm -hmm. The other is polarized times. 
there is a problem because you know uh, if you are not left and you have not right then who are you and it's a challenge because if you are left or right if you get polarized it's easy to build a business and a following i don't know how much that, how that translates into revenues but you can build a following if you are on the left or on the right because that lot comes to you and that seems to be the law now around the world because the whole world has got very polarized mm-hmm.